This video introduces a unique and cheap way to rotate solar panels. With this method, you can run panels with a small area and large surfaces, and rotate them uniaxially and biaxially. Be sure of the effectiveness of these methods and implement them safely. Before watching this movie, watch the first episode as well. Good luck to you, Ebrahim Hashemi. Hello to all of you dear ones. Welcome to the Fixed Focus Program. And this second part is related to the rotation of solar panels. In the first part, we said that solar panels in fixed state have a lot of energy loss. In the graph you see, it shows the amount of output power of a fixed panel at different times of the day. And this fixed panel has the most power in the hours of 11 to 13, but if we always place the panel perpendicular to the sunlight during the day we will witness this diagram. Therefore, the rotation of the panel plays a very effective role in the output power. Currently there are two systems for rotating solar panels they are more used. In the figure you can see, the rotation of the panel is uniaxial, which is present in some solar power plants. In this case, the movement is uniaxial. In the second case, the rotation system is two-axis and is less used in power plants. And the non-use of this system is due to high cost and depreciation. And depending on the single-axis and two-axis rotation system, the power of the panel increases between 20 and 40 percent. In the first program whose address you can see above. We talked about rotating the solar panel with a completely different and cheap system. If this system is built as a single axis, the solar panel will be fixed on the horizontal axis under a certain angle. As you can see, this panel can easily rotate around the horizontal axis. In this case, the equipment is less than the two-axis mode. In this case, although it is not ideal, it is better than the solar panels remaining fixed. In the second method, with this system, the solar panels move in two axes. Well, let's go to the two axis method. In the two axis method that you saw with this system in the previous video. As you can see, the solar panel was pulled from above. But in the method that I am introducing now, the panel is pulled from the bottom. And this work is easily possible by two steel grooved pulleys and steel towing wire, which you see in the figure. In this method, the solar panel can easily move vertically and horizontally. And if the support hole of the panel is at the bottom, the vertical movement of the panel requires more force than before when it was pulled from above. For example, I rotate this grooved pulley with this box wrench as a motor with a gearbox. And this power depends on the support of the solar panel on the vertical column. Vertical movement can be changed from horizontal to vertical. So this is another way to rotate the solar panel vertically in this system. But this method and the previous method we used for vertical movement in this system it has a problem. And I want you to think before you watch the rest of the movie and say what's wrong with it. Well I hope you found the problem. Well, let's go to the problem of this method. The drawback of this method is that when the panel is pulled in one direction, it is free in the other direction. It means that the wind can move the solar panel in the direction of the tow wire. For example, in this case, the panel can move up, but never move down. And the more horizontal the solar panel is, the more it can be moved. And this movement, which is mostly caused by the wind, can become a blow. And you can see that the panel in the vertical position has the least freedom of movement. As you can see, two grooved pulleys, one in the center and the other on this rod, perform the vertical rotation of the panel. 
The movement of this grooved pulley causes the rope to retract. So let's go for a final solution where the problem of this method has been taken. In the third method, I used the same two grooved pulleys, but this time I connected the rope to both sides of the panel. As you can see in the figure, a grooved pulley is connected to a steel spring to balance the tension of the galvanized steel cable. In this method, the moving factor is a smooth steel pulley with several turns of galvanized steel cable wrapped around it. Actually, the rotation of the solar panel depends on the rotation of smooth pulley steel. Suppose our DC motor is connected to a worm gearbox. This gearbox can be rotated from the engine side and cannot be rotated from the other side. And slows down DC motor rotation. This image is related to worm gearbox and it has different dimensions in the industry. Well now suppose my hand wrench is the same gearbox that can turn smooth pulley steel. Now the panel can be moved by turning the smooth pulley. In this method, the panel does not have any freedom of movement, and neither goes up nor down. And it is completely resistant to wind. Therefore, the above method is more reliable than the previous biaxial methods. Now it is in an almost vertical position and it is very strong. In terms of the strength of the system, I must say that the fixed part is completely fixed to the ground. And the moving part is also completely locked with one or two large steel bearing. And because the movement of the sun is done very slowly, the system does not need a powerful electric motor. And with a suitable worm gear box, vertical rotation is done. The slow movement of the sun makes us not spend a lot of energy to rotate the solar panel. Both in vertical and horizontal movement. You can see a smooth pulley steel in the picture. Its size and diameter depends on your system dimensions. Or you can prepare it yourself and make it like this picture from an iron pipe and installing two ball bearings. This is also the table related to the steel core wire ropes. You can choose the diameter that suits your system. This is a groove wheel pulley along with a base that will be installed in the center of the moving part. And guides the towing wire in the right direction to one side of the solar panel. Well, with this method, a reliable and cheap system of panel rotation is launched. Depreciation of the system is low and its life is long. Horizontal movement does not require much force. And it is enough to use a DC electric motor, a worm gear box and a vibration rubber. I hope this program was useful for you. If you haven't seen the first part of the movie, you must watch it.
Until the next program, goodbye.